It all starts with the sun. The sun gives energy to the tree's leaves, which allows photosynthesis to happen. Photosynthesis is the process of converting sunlight into chemical energy. This happens in chloroplasts in most green autotrophs that lack the ability to move, typically known as plants, like this apple tree. Other more microorganisms do the same thing, including the blue-green algae that did it first. Apple trees do this in their leaves and store the glucose in their apples. Humans can't do this, so they need to eat food, like the apple, to get this energy. These creatures do photosynthesis because they need energy, which is the output of photosynthesis, glucose. Oxygen comes out too, but that's not the main energy-filled bit. The things that need to go in to get glucose is water, carbon dioxide, and light. If you want to get all sciency, you say 6 carbon dioxide and 6 water plus light yields 6 oxygen gas and glucose. It's not quite as simple as that, though, as there are two parts of that, the light cycle and the Kalman cycle. The light cycle takes light, water, and a DP+, ADP, and P, and gives ATP, NADPH, and oxygen. ATP and NADPH just so happen to be the inputs for the Calvin cycle, which also takes carbon dioxide to give glucose. NADP+, plus ADP, and P. As you can see, the NADP+, plus ADP, and P cycle around these two cycles, changing between the NADP+, plus ADP, and P, to the ATP and NADPH. Now that's quite a bit of science to take in. Now on to cellular respiration, which occurs in all the things, or at least all the living things. They do this because they need to turn glucose into ATP, which is energy the cell can use. This process happens in mitochondria. Now that we have glucose from either producing it, like this apple tree, or eating it, like this person enjoying that sweet, crisp apple, we can go on to converting it. For our example, this process occurs in a person's digestive system, where the apple is broken into smaller and smaller pieces until it becomes glucose and enters the bloodstream to eventually enter the cell through assisted diffusion. Much like photosynthesis, cellular respiration has a big, long science equation that tells you the resources that it uses. It takes C6H12O6 plus 6O2 and yields 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus E in the form of ATP, or glucose plus oxygen turns into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. If you paid attention, this looks an awful lot like the photosynthesis equation. It's just reverse. This is where, unfortunately, cellular respiration gets more complicated than photosynthesis, as there are three parts to do now. Glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. This is already really confusing. To add to this, there are two anaerobic methods of respiration, alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. Yeasts and other similar things perform alcoholic fermentation, while lactic acid fermentation occurs in other cells, like our muscle cells. That's even more science to take in. Okay, ATP, the point of all of this, is the main source of energy for cells. It is quick to use when a phosphorus atom is cleaved off. The way ATP is stored. Yes, I recorded a science thing. Yes! This process happens in mitochondria. Now that we have this glucose... Okay, ATP, the point of all of this, is the main source of energies for the... I t this is two lines. I messed it up. Uh, I'm done. It is quick to use when a phosphorus atom is cleaved off. Cleaved off. Off. This is... Uh...